President Botswana. Yeah. Good morning, Mr. President. Hi, thank you. Well, it's good to have you here. Thank you. Members of the Foreign Minister. Oh, how do you do? And the Ambassador. Yes, hello, Mr. Mr. President. Good morning. Now, yeah. uh, I think you and I have to go out here for just a moment and let the press take our pictures. Yes, you want to get this picture. I know you're having an Olympic team at the at the Olympics. <laughs> you and I have something in common. We're both running for re-election. <laughs> Even that, I found out. Why should a fella ask for all those problems on top of the problems <laughs> holding public office? Because the cattle industry is not exactly a, a sure thing <laughs> at any time. It's been my very great pleasure to meet today with President Masseri of Botswana. The President's leadership as Vice President and President has been important to his nation since its independence over 17 years ago. He follows in the distinguished footsteps of Siretse Kama, a friend of the United States and a tireless worker for peace in Africa and progress for Botswana. Botswana's success as a free and democratic nation owes much to the wise leadership of President Masire and his predecessor. I've enjoyed the opportunity to exchange views on matters of mutual interest to our two nations. Our discussions covered a wide range of topics, including bilateral and regional issues. And goes without saying, our exchange was open and friendly. I appreciate the President's insights into the issues of importance to the African continent. We admire the economic strides that Botswana has made since independence. It has managed its resources with skill 
and improve the standard of living of its people. And that progress, due in large part to prudent financial planning and receptivity to investment, is an example to others in Africa who seek to better the lives of their people. President Masire described to me the serious problems Botswana is facing as a result of the severe drought that has plagued Southern Africa for three years now. And I, of course, expressed my heartfelt concern and that of the American people for the tragedy wrought by this natural disaster. Together, we explored ways that American aid can alleviate at least some of this suffering. We have also used this occasion to discuss the political situation in Southern Africa. And I assured President Masire that the United States will continue to seek peaceful solutions to the problems of that volatile part of the world. This will not be an easy task. However, we believe that the recent accord between South Africa and Mozambique, as well as the disengagement of forces in Angola, are encouraging signs. Both Botswana and the United States want peace among the nations of the region, internationally recognized independence for Namibia, self-determination for the people of the area, and a peaceful change in South Africa. Botswana, which has long lived in peace with its neighbors without compromising its democratic and non-racial principles, has proven how much can be accomplished. Its democratic standards have served Botswana and the region well. As a leader of one of the frontline states, President Masire's views have been particularly instructive to me. Mr. President, the United States and Botswana are tied by our dedication to democracy and respect for individual rights. These are the bonds that unite all good and decent people. I would like to offer my best wishes and those of the American people for the peace and prosperity of the people of Botswana. And I'm pleased that you were able to accept our invitation to come to Washington, and I look forward to meeting with you again. Thank you for being here. Mr. President, uh, honorable ministers and members of the press, we are here at the invitation of the President and the people of the United States. We are very uh, grateful that uh, this invitation has been extended to us because, as the President has said, this has given us the opportunity uh, to talk uh, together on matters of mutual interest and uh, to brief uh, the President and his uh, colleagues on uh, some of the goings on uh, in our part of the world. Ours is a long association uh, since independence, uh, Botswana has had very uh, amicable relationship uh, with the United States. We have had uh, PISCO volunteers uh, who have worked there. Some of them uh, initially went there for two years but ended up uh, staying for 10 years or so. <laughs> We have um, uh, found not only PISCO, but other uh, American personnel uh, to be very useful uh, in our development effort. As you know, we are a, a democracy. We have, uh, perhaps we are uh, a little too democratic because while here you have only the Republican Party and uh, uh, the Democratic Party. Uh, back home, we have uh, something like six uh, parties. And uh, we, much as uh, people have said, uh, the uh, democracy cannot work in Africa, I think we should thank God that in Botswana, uh, so far, it has worked. 
And I think one of the uh, reasons it has worked is that there has been mutual trust and mutual respect. Uh, the opposition is treated seriously because we seriously mean to be a multi-party uh, state. And we know if we treat the opposition shabbily, we will be in trouble when it is their turn uh, to run the show. <laughs> we, unlike elsewhere, uh, consult on matters uh, of uh, uh, national interest, national security, and with the opposition. And um, uh, so far, as I said, uh, we have found this to uh, be perhaps uh, the best uh, of um, uh, running a country. We are an open economy, market-led economy. Um, uh, people are free to invest. Uh, I have been, that's one of the things we have talked about. Uh, that uh, if um, there are American investors who would like to come over to Botswana and invest, they must know they are very much welcome. There are no problems about uh, capital repatriation. There are no problems about repatriation of earnings of, for, of expatriate staff. Um, there are no uh, uh, problems of uh, racial discrimination because being next to South Africa and knowing just how bad uh, racial discrimination is, we know it's just as bad when practiced by whites as when practiced by blacks. And therefore, we avoid at all costs uh, to be discriminatory. We have enjoyed our stay here. We have uh, tasted of the traditional American hospitality, and we go back home uh, very uh, pleased uh, with uh, the outcome of our uh, visit. They say, least said, soonest mended. I thank you, Mr. President. Huh?